So, but I want to bring it back. Today's about public safety, and I love being in this room, and I love uh, coming here. Good, good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming. And I think this is a much better layout, right? I mean, last time when I was here for El Nino, we were over there, and it kind of crunched everybody up on the top. So I think this is a much better layout, and and I know we, we made a huge deal about El Nino, and it hasn't happened yet. It's coming. But... Public safety, it's always better to be safe than sorry. I mean, we had that one week where, uh, where it was really windy and whatnot, trees started to fall, but you know, um, El Nino season's still not over. There's about another month and a half, about another month possibly, and I know there might be a little bit more rain, but it's always good to be prepared because remember, El Nino preparation was also earthquake preparation. So I really thank you guys for being so enthusiastic last time and again for you guys being here today. And I really wanna thank the We Are Laurel Canyon and the concerned citizens of Kirkwood Bowl for putting this event together again. Thank you. You got to really commend yourselves because you are bringing all the different groups, all the different homeowners associations and, and concerned neighbors together into one forum. So I really appreciate that. And of course, thank you to the Moholland Tennis Club for hosting again. Yay. And no thank you for putting those cookies. I had like five of them already. And when I sit down, I'll probably finish that whole plate. I really want to thank a lot of the public safety officials here tonight, um, LAPD, City Attorney's Office, the U.S. Post Office, and I think someone from Adam Schiff's office is also here, right? Yeah. Um, and, but because it's about public safety, and I'm going to try to make this real brief so we can get to the experts, you know from before I've always talked about public safety being my number one concern. And, and I know there's been concerns about particular break-ins, mail and trap package thefts, traffic and nuisance violations. And we have a panel of experts who are gonna specifically um, address any of the concerns, special direct concerns you have. But let me just quickly talk about break-ins. You know, we have to rely on our first responders, LAPD and LAFD, and I am doing everything that I can on city council to support these agencies, support these departments. Because we have to ensure that the police, fire, and emergency services have the resources to respond to the, so as fast as possible, to, as fast as possible when you call them for help, and um, I've been working with, um, especially, you know, LAPD and both LAFD are understaffed, so I am doing everything that I can to make sure we increase their capacity. Mailing package theft, you know, there are steps you could do to make your uh, mail safer, including installing a lock on your mailbox, canceling your mail delivery when you're away from home. But we're going to have some of the experts touch more on that. Traffic. And I know we talked about ways. I am, we are, I am more than familiar. And when the count, when the city attorney was talking about the Hollywood area, that's my area. And um, and the short answer is, and I know you're not going to want to hear this. There is no way to um, ban or get rid of these applications, right? These apps, ways, Google, and whatnot. But what we can do, and actually, I've been working with the city mayor's office. And it wasn't the community groups that did it on their own. It, they worked through my office, and I work with the mayor's office who has a direct contact with Google, and we've helped change a lot of the guidance systems. And we're continuing to do that. And what we did find out is, while we can't make them you know, shut it off or not use it or not direct them to our area, what we can do is um, inform them where if you can't make a left turn here, you can't direct people, they keep on directing people to places where you can't make a left or a right or whatnot. We could update their maps. We could tell them you can't make a left here. So that's how we get them to change their, uh, um, um, their whole mapping technology. And of course, it's not just that, we're working with the neighborhoods, working with you, and working with the Department of Transportation to install mitigations, and if possible, add additional signage. So it's, I'm working with folks in Sherman Oaks, Beecher Canyon area, and all over. So um, uh, we definitely could work with you on that. And nuisance violations. You know, we need to work together with you to be with, together to be good neighbors. And these quality of life issues, um, these are these are as the city attorney talked about. These are quality of life issues. And I know the ACE program folks are going to come up, and the neighborhood prosecutor. I mean, they are instrumental. Um, and while there's a lot of things I could do that the city attorney can't do, there's a lot of things that the city attorney could do that I can't do. And that's why I mean, and that's why I wanted to make sure I was able to thank. Mike Fuhrer, because we are working hand in hand. Because when it comes to nuisance issues like party houses, 
it's not just writing a, a, a law or a legislation. I talked to Jackie, the neighborhood prosecutor, who's uh, um, um, done, worked on 20 different cases. I talked with LAPD because they respond to these party house calls, right? The last party that they had, they had an elephant. And I introduced the motion, which I'm working, again, very closely with the city attorney's office to do an exotic animals, not just elephants, but ex banning all exotic animals. And they got an elephant because they said they're filming. Right? So, which is ridiculous because this is a bona fide, very well known. Jackie knows them well. LAPD knows them well. We go there all the time for parties. Um, and I don't know if they said they had a video camera, but what, what kind of filming they had. So we're going to revamp all our ordinances. And it's not just working in a vacuum, but it's working with Jackie to say, what are your impediments? What can I do to give you more tools to prosecute? Right? So that's what I mean. Um, um, working together. So, but, I was, and I'm gonna end it here, uh, and I'll be around for questions, um, but another important way to keep our neighborhood safe is exactly what we're doing here tonight. Exactly what you guys are here <coughs> doing here tonight. Getting engaged, getting involved, uh, getting informed, um, um, helping each other, watching out for each other, whether it's Neighborhood Watch or any other programs. So I really thank you guys for doing this. I mean, I love coming here. I mean, I think I come here at least once a month for a um, function or two. But keep on asking, keep on getting involved, and, and I will be here to support. Um, and thank you again for inviting me, and I'll close there so we can get to the experts. All right, thank you.